In today's video, we will investigate the enigma surrounding black holes and the fascinating evidence to confirm that more and more of these mystical chasms are developing across the Milky Way and within the vastness of space. What is a black hole in relation to the study of astronomy? Why are so many being recorded? What can we learn from this phenomenon, and should we be worried? Let us draw into the strange case of the black hole anomaly as we begin this episode of Access Astronomy. What do we think of when we discuss the concept of astronomical black holes? Most people tend to shift towards a cataclysmic doomsday scenario, whereby everything within the black hole's path gets sucked in and swallowed up. Even though this worrying notion is indeed true, the great nothingness that strikes fear into those who wish our planet to remain afloat in the eternal landscape of space is not credent to the whole story. Black holes themselves contain massive volumes of matter, which are packed into a very small space, and where its gravitational field becomes so strong that not even light can escape from it. In previous videos and investigations, we have discussed Albert Einstein's infamous theory of relativity and prediction that black holes were in fact possible when a star dies in a supernova explosion, and that the remaining gravitational pull encapsulates all external space and remnant core from the dying star to produce what has become known as the black hole. In recent years, we have been able, through the use of advanced technologies and expertise from the likes of NASA, to explore Earth's outer limits, neighboring planets such as Mars and Jupiter, as well as detect the ambiguous black holes which have baffled, intimidated, and fascinated scientists for decades. Only recently, in 2019, was the Event Horizon Telescope able to produce the first ever image of an active black hole and its surface, which was at the center of a galaxy known as Messier 87. The development, functionality, and aftermath generated by black holes can be unpredictable. However, with continuous detection of numerous astronomical voids across the astral plane, we are learning more and more about these mysterious tunnels of gravity for starters, the more black holes there are, the stronger their effect on energy and matter surrounding them. With extremely powerful gamma ray emissions tearing through existing stars, as well as giving birth to new ones. The gamma rays themselves were first noticed by the Neil Garrel Swift Observatory through NASA's specifically engineered Swift Telescope back in 2004, which monitored the afterglows via X-ray and UV visible light. The development of new black holes appearing across the Milky Way is a monumentous event, whose detection by telescope technology is just as impressive and vital to their study. Scientists and astronomers were able to decipher the rise in black holes' births by way of the explosive impact between an existing black hole and that of a neutron star. It is estimated through the discovery of multiple large stars, which are capable of producing black holes upon their death as well as the Hubble and Chandra telescopes, that there are as many as 1 billion black holes in our Milky Way at this very moment. On top of this analysis is the phenomenon known as supermassive black holes. These aggressive surrounding barons of mass can be billions of times larger than that of our Sun, and are the result of a domino effect that stems from collective star clusters. Over the course of time, the aforementioned stars, which are capable of producing so-called normal black holes, can gravitate towards one another, and once they clash, sink into the center of the galaxy, thus creating the supermassive black hole. Angelo Riccati, author and astronomer from the Harvard and Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, used an algorithm to understand and theorize how and why black holes came to be as well as how they multiplied and interacted within their environment of space. The procedure and computerized calculations became known as the Romulus method and was documented in a number of studies by astronomers with the intention of reconstructing the process of black hole events. When a supermassive black hole burrows itself into the galactic hub, it produces an active galactic nucleus, AGN, 
which decimates the star formations within its galaxy. Simulations produced by the Romulus computer are essential in the understanding of this process. Contemporary cosmological reproductions using the Romulus code predict that even after 13 billion years of evolution, a certain percentage of supermassive black holes end up meandering through the galaxy and account for approximately 10% of their mass. Riccati and his team were able to determine that earlier universal records show that the black hole percentage was significantly larger in their majority. Thanks to the technological progression of Romulus and other calculated machinery, it is becoming clear that numerous black holes are also fusing together and randomly appearing across the cosmos due to gravitational pull. On August 5th, 2021, it was discovered that the black hole known as V404, Cygni, had a huge set of unusual rings surrounding it. An image captured using NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory shows an array of giant rings which are located 7,800 light years away and help reveal information regarding dust locations in our galaxy. On the 5th of October 2015, a strong burst of X-ray emissions from Cygni, which created the rings through so-called light echoes, seemed to deflect off a mass gathering of dust clouds. Sebastian Hines, researcher at the University of Wisconsin in Madison, analyzed various observations taken from the Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, or PANSTARS, based in Hawaii, to understand the formulation and behavior of black holes. On the 19th of January 2022, the famous Hubble telescope found a black hole igniting a star formation within the dwarf galaxy, nicknamed Henes 210, located 30 billion years from Earth. Henes 210 resides in the southern constellation of Pyxis and has been the focus of many astronomers, especially Amy Raines, from the Department of Astronomy at the University of Virginia. Raines, who published the first evidence of black holes in the galaxy back in 2011, has analyzed and studied the Hubble's observations over the years, stating that the telescopic apparatus has provided a very clear picture of the connection between the black hole and a neighboring star-forming region located 230 light years from the black hole. The discharge of gas was recorded through the form of spectroscopy and identified the efflux which was traveling at 1 million miles per hour as it crashed into just enough dense gas to break up and create a new star formation. Raines added that Hubble's amazing resolution clearly shows a corkscrew-like pattern in the velocities of the gas, which we can fit to the model of a processing or wobbling outflow from a black hole. Astronomers believe that the dwarf galaxies, similar to Henny's, could have been a suitable counterpart for black holes in the early universe as they began to grow and thus retain an astronomical memory that we can tap into in the years ahead. Wandering black holes are certainly becoming the focus and fascination of scientists worldwide, as their commonality is ever increasing and more apparent with each year that passes. Again in 2011, a star was spotted by telescopic engineers in Chile and New Zealand, which appeared to be 200 times brighter than that of our sun. Its movement, weight, and gravitational pull was the subject of numerous observations and studies by astronomers at the Kailash C. Sahut Space Institution, as well as the University of California in Berkeley. Arguments were posed from both sides in accordance with Amy Rain's declaration with Sahut's team, determining the motion of the wanderer being caused by an object, which was approximately seven times more avoid poise than the sun. Such density would have been extremely bright and detectable via the Hubble telescope, yet it was barely visible in the darkness of space, and so was concluded to be a black hole. Contrary to this judgment, a team was devised at Berkeley, led by PhD candidate Casey Lamb, and under the guidance of Professor Jessica Liu, who came to a different conclusive theory, that the object was much smaller, perhaps only four times that of the sun. A small black hole, or one of the most immensely sized neutron stars ever discovered, was the final verdict, and according to Liu, falls within this strange region we call the mass gap. No matter the outcome, or decision made on the terminology, judgment, or recorded analysis of the entity, 
Astrophysicists such as Will Farr from the Stony Brook University in New York are universally excited at the overall discovery and revelations from their peers. Farr states that however one looks at it, the new results are thrilling. To try and comprehend the numbers, statistics and calculations when discussing black holes and space in general, it can often confuse, baffle and bewilder those of us with a general interest in the cosmos. Researchers and scientists have provided us with an approximation of how many black holes are occupying the galaxy, a seemingly endless vista of wondrous mystery and mystical intrigue. Small, lonesome black holes can be mapped through their circumvallated pirouette with neighbouring stars as they collide and strip them of their natural, developing matter, and resulting in their X-ray radiative emissions. The task for experts here on Earth and the telescopic framework that monitors this process is to ascertain the detailed origins and attributes of the black holes before this event occurs. Dr. Kaliash Sahu laid down the challenge that if we want to understand the properties of black holes, it's best to find isolated ones. And so the numbers become paramount in their accumulation and verification of this data. The alienated entity mentioned is 5,000 light years away a distance of 29.9 trillion miles from Earth. Meanwhile, the closest to our land and shores is just 80 light years away. Speed, weight and distance are all collectively determined and so we Earthlings have a major part to play in this. Earth and our encompassing solar system and Milky Way are travelling at more than 500,000 miles per hour even though it doesn't seem like it. And so scientists have endeavoured to answer the call and take on the challenge posed by Sahu, using a process called microlensing. Conducted over the course of 200 days or so to observe the stretching of gravity from a black hole, microlensing is the new form of space observation and data collection. Depending on what the black hole comes into contact with, it will produce a transient colour change in the starlight, as light from both the forefront and background stars will morph and merge together for a short period of time. As one of the most recent entities reported on June 10th, 2022, generated no colour whatsoever, the scientists at Hubble scrutinised the deflection of the background star's image and zoned in with extreme precision to determine its weight, which came out at a massive seven solar masses. This is seven times the size of the Sun or the equivalent to approximately 333,000 Earths. The team challenged by Sahu estimated the isolated black hole to be moving at 100,000 miles per hour, which is much faster than most stars in the galaxy at any given time. As the numbers continue to be declared, and with microlensing being the current method of investigation, Sahu notes that detections of isolated black holes Will provide new insight into the population of these objects in our Milky Way. The most up-to-date files from NASA, revised on the 5th of July 2022, are in relation to the extraordinarily luminous Quasar within the constellation of Draco and nicknamed H1821-643, which is powered by a supermassive black hole and located 3.4 billion light-years from Earth. Using the Chandra X-ray system, the teams at the Space Institute were able to establish the spin cycle of a black hole within the AGNs. To date, this has become the largest ever recorded black hole, with an estimated 30 billion solar masses making up its colossal body. As the spinning black hole consumes all external space within its path, it allows matter to orbit closer to it, thus allowing the technology used by teams at NASA to calculate exactly how fast it is spinning. Fascinating stuff, I'm sure you'll agree. Currently in development by the administration is the Roman Space Telescope, which once created is expected to identify and examine with acute detail the deepness of space and that of the cosmos. According to representatives at NASA, dark energy, exoplanets and infrared astrophysics will be the topic and focus of the monumentous structure as well as black hole observations. Again, the numbers are staggering. Roman has already surpassed the field view of the Hubble telescope, being 100 times greater and more powerful than its predecessor. 
however it's only expected to have a minimum of 5 years mission time, with the possibility of extending its purpose by another 5 years, depending on its success. With this in mind, it looks like the best is yet to come. And so, this is where our episode of Access Astronomy comes to an end. We live in a world that is constantly in motion and travelling at speeds we cannot comprehend in real time. As we continue to make strides in the pursuit of technological elevation and understanding of space, the prospect of black holes, despite their terrifying presence in the cosmos, is a pre-eminent operation and prospect for our scientists and astrophysicists to acquire. Though we may not be able to fully understand what is happening out there all the time, to be able to witness the birth and manipulation of black holes in all their spectacular form is a massive achievement and one that deserves astronomical praise for its own sake. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care and keep investigating.